Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car. Today with the Toyota BZ4X, the long awaited first dedicated EV of the biggest car manufacturer in the world. Due to conquer cars like the Volkswagen ID4, the Mercedes EQC, Skoda's Enyaq and most of all Tesla's Model Y later that year. If you are keen on knowing what to expect from that vehicle, Join me on my first test drive and I'll tell you more about it. But before we start driving, let's talk a bit about size and shape. The car does not look too futuristic, more like the next generation RAV4, even if the RAV4 will still stick to the market for a very long time. But if you look at the size, it's a little less than 4 meters 70, like the competitors and like the RAV4. It has a long wheelbase of 2 meters 85, making much room for the occupants. But it is significantly lower than a RAV4, more than two hands, giving the car a very sleek, a very sporty look and a very efficient aerodynamics, even if there's a battery pack in the bottom. You can see that when you sit on the driver's seat, you're sitting pretty high, but other than that, the car looks cool, drives good. And that's what we're gonna figure out now. The drive in the new Toyota is like in every other electric car, very smooth and very spontaneous. But there is a difference because Toyota claims while all the other electric vehicles might look like an SUV, the BZ4X is an SUV with proper off-road capabilities. There are special drive modes for the off-road. There is an all-wheel drive. There are some driving features like downhill control and like a terrain response control as we know it from Land Rover. And the weighting depth is bigger than in most of the other SUVs. You can wade through water up to 50 centimeters without harming the electric parts of the vehicle. Talking about technology, the Toyota is offered with two different drivetrains. The standard model is equipped with an 150 kilowatt motor in the front, translating to 204 horsepower. The all-wheel drive versions use two motors with 80 kilowatt each. Together that's 160 kilowatt or 218 horsepower. That translates to a range that is estimated somewhere above 400 kilometers in the WLTP cycle. The front wheel drive model will have about 450 and the all wheel drive model is supposed to have 400 10 kilometers of range. Charging is with up to 150 kilowatts on a fast charger. That means 10 to 80 percent state of battery charge is done in less than 30 minutes. Yes, Toyota might be late in the field of electric vehicles, but they are very experienced with their hybrids. Means they have lots of experience with batteries and motors and that translates to a warranty that is unseen in the market yet. One million kilometers is the guaranteed lifetime of the battery and after one million kilometers the battery should still have a capacity of 70 percent. That is quite impressive to me. If you look around in the BZ4X you see an interesting mix of materials like in almost every modern EV. We have a lot of plastic and it's not the most expensive, the most luxurious one. Sometimes it's really hard and looking cheap and that's the reason. The designers are always looking to cut down the costs to save the money for the battery and to save some weight as well. But we also have some very environmental friendly material like the fabric on the dashboard which comes from recycled PET bottles and I'm sure there's also a vegan version without any leather in the car. Yes, Toyota is claiming the BZ4X a real SUV. Not only a car that looks like an SUV but also a car that drives like an SUV and that wears the X badge for a reason. Meaning you have all-wheel drive in the top model and you have different drive modes to get you along offside the road. Same as you know it from Land Rover with the terrain response control, you have special settings for slippery roads, for downhill driving and you can even wade the water. 50 centimeters of wading depth you can go 
without harming batteries and electric motors, which is quite an achievement if you compare it to other cars that looks like rugged SUVs, but are not more than standard passenger vehicles. If we look at the interior of the Toyota, it is somehow between both worlds. Yes, it's pretty digital, but compared to the Volkswagen models, for example, or if compared with the Teslas, it is pretty conventional. We have the conventional layout with a center screen and a digital cluster instrument, which is mounted surprisingly far away from the driver. And we have that huge and very wide center console that kind of builds you in and separates the driver from the co-driver like the Berlin Wall. But good thing is lots of storage capacities in there and mainly underneath there. Enough room for your handbag, for your small backpack and all that stuff. And while you're feeling pretty cramped in the first row, the second row is amazing. You have more leg room than in a luxury limousine. While the driver has to cope with that big wall separating him from the passenger and causing kind of claustrophobia, the rear seat occupants have more room than in any Lexus. Especially the leg room is amazing due to the wheelbase of 2 meters 85. Even if the car is a little less than 4 meters 70 in length only, it looks small but feels very big inside. And the trunk space is huge as well. It almost comes to 500 liters. Yes, Toyota might be late to the party of the electric vehicle because it took them quite a while to realize that the hybrid vehicle alone might not be the perfect solution. But now the biggest manufacturer in the world is coming with a big bang, announcing more than 30 electrified vehicles until the end of the decade globally. And seven of them alone are coming from the BZ family. Beyond Zero means fully electric, battery electric vehicles. And this is the first of them, bringing six more in different segments and Lexus and Subaru is not counted within them. Thanks for joining me on that first drive with the new Toyota BZ4X. Forex, a car that has the potential to shake up the market, not only because of its technology, because that's just average, very good, but not ahead of the competition. Even if the car is the latest, it is not the greatest. But Toyota is the greatest company in the world and that fact alone has the potential to shake up the market and to propel electric mobility even further.